Welcome to another episode of Coach's Corner on Steelheads TV. As always, Brian McCormick alongside Steelheads head coach Neil Graham. Now, the Idaho Steelheads, four straight wins, and that comes off a three-game sweep of the Alaska Aces this past week. And Neil, those are three games that were all very tightly contested heading into the third period. What did your group show you that enabled them to come away with six points? Well, for starters, you know, we have a lot of respect for uh, Alaska's work ethic and compete, and uh, all three games were extremely close because they fought hard all three nights, and, you know, our guys do as well. Uh, we're a team based off hard work and second efforts, and, you know, it makes for exciting hockey, and, you know, you could hear the support and energy from our fans, and they were three good games. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, uh, our guys capitalized on some chances when we had them, and uh, a big big three wins going into this week and now we have another good team in Rapid City that uh, works hard and uh, has played us very hard as well this year. It was another good week for Joe Basaraba, three goals in three games, now six in his last eight, but there was another player who had a pretty good first showing in front of the Steelhead fans, that was defenseman Zach Bell. He had two fights on Wednesday, a goal on Friday. Did fans get a bit of a taste of what you saw in Zach Bell and what encouraged you to bring him here? Yeah, Belzy, uh, he, he plays with a lot of passion in his game, uh, he's vocal on the bench. Uh, obviously, he brings some physicality to the lineup, and uh, you know the, the fights were great. Uh, they were at the right time when you know we needed a spark, but you know more so than that, he just brings a physical element with his, uh, his positioning and uh, the way he finishes checks. And uh, he's a very good hockey player, and you know it's something. Uh, first and foremost, we wanted to bring him in uh, for his abilities on the ice, and uh, you know he makes a, a good first pass. He's heads up, uh, obviously has a good shot, uh, scored a goal like you mentioned on Friday. Uh, but he's a good hockey player, and he makes us a better hockey team. Now the Idaho Steelheads have points in eight straight games, looking to raise that to a season high nine straight when they face Rapid City this week. As you said, a team that's playing some better hockey. For you all year, it's been a mantra of just focus on the next game, the game at hand. You've had several lengthy point streaks this season. This team is that next game up mentality a reason for that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself, and uh, as long as you can stay small picture, focus on the moment, and stay in the present, uh, you're going to be successful. And uh, right now, we're gearing up and we're preparing for a Friday night game in Rapid City, and they just took three out of four points against Fort Wayne, who's a good hockey team. So uh, we need to be ready. We need to bring our best efforts, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to go Friday night. Now we had some fun on Monday night with our season ticket holders, the 2016 Steelhead Skills Challenge. We saw accuracy shooting, hardest shot, a lot of impressive performance. Was there anyone that stood out to you in particular? Yeah, no, I think the hardest shot's always fun. Uh, the fans get a kick out of that. and. Uh, what Joe Boss Raba, I think he was 102. 102. Uh, Morissette was 100. Uh, so it's two thirds of their line right there. And Mac McMillan didn't get a shoot. He's probably right up there with them. So uh, pretty cool. I know they had fun. Uh, it's a good a good thing for our fans. It's a good thing for the players. You know, you could see them joking around, smiling with the GoPros. Guys were mic'd up, and uh, it's something special that we like to do for our season ticket holders. And I know they appreciate it. And, and to be honest, we appreciate the support they give us. Jefferson Dahl also went four for four in accuracy shooting. I know you don't make coaching decisions based yeah, on skills was, competitions, yeah. but yeah, that was impressive. It's uh, it was like shades of Ray Bork from back in the early 90s in those all-star games but yeah I mean Dollar like I mentioned uh, in the skills comp he's our first uh, 20 goal scorer of this season and uh, I think he showed why with some of that accuracy. Now one more question before we wrap it up the pink in the rink weekend was this past weekend another huge success $19,000 raised it's got to be important for your team to be a part of a weekend like that cancer's touched all of us in one way or another. Absolutely uh, we were honored to wear those jerseys uh, and try and help raise some money for such a worthy cause and uh, as mentioned there's probably not a person in that arena, player or fan, uh, that hasn't been affected uh, by cancer one way or another. So uh, it's close to everyone's heart. Uh, and to be able to uh, try and raise some money for such a worthy cause, I know guys uh, get up for those games and uh, do their best. And uh, we're happy that we were able to contribute uh, the small portion that we did. Neil, thanks for joining us. Good luck this week in Rapid City. Thanks for having me on, guys. That's another episode of Coach's Corner. We'll see you next week on Steelheads TV.